So, hello everyone. This is my new Kindle Touch. I just wanted to offer you all to a new episode in a new series called All Things Nin All Things Kindle instead of All Things Nintendo. Now, today I've been thinking my father and my father got one for Christmas. Kindle Touch. And, and now it's turned off, as you can see. And... I really wanted to read, and I, I'm only a kid, but it was really cool. So I had a Lego set that was much, it was same price as the Kindle, so we got it. And then we have a case delivering. So as you can see, you press down here to, to turn it on, and then it'll turn on. Here's jokes. All, all really cool stuff. And it, it, it's an awesome. It, it looks like it looks like real paper, and you can read like real paper. Now, if you've been wondering what this button does, it takes you to the home menu. So let's say I'm reading Lord of the Rings, and now you, you press right here to go to the next page. Press right here to go to the previous page. Now you can press up here to go to the menu, and Turn, te turn on to text to speech, which will make the read you. And you can make add bookmark right there, right there. Or you can just close it and touch right up there. And I'll show a little form of page right there. And then you can touch it to put the bookmark back. And so um, I'm really. It's, it's awesome, and so I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks for the Kindle Touch. So, first of all, here is the Kindle store. I like Amazon, you have to, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. So, um... So here, here's some books, magazines, books, newspapers, magazines, New York Times bestsellers, whatever. But you can um, let's see right here, tap search. Like you can search if you would. Excuse me. Um, pardon me. You can you can search whatever. Like like for an example, let's see. Harry. Harry Potter, and then it shows up right there. Um, never seen a Harry Potter um, cookbook, but but you you get the idea. And here's Harry Potter Deathly Howls study guide. I don't know what that is, but you could try a sample, and samples are free, or you can get the real book. You can also go onto your whichever library you like. If they do something for the Kindle, you can get Kindle library books. So I had to do that, but I don't have enough time. So, so basically, yeah, it's great for reading. And it, you don't need Wi-Fi to read. You, of course, need Wi-Fi to shop. But, but if you're wondering why it shows an ad, if it, if there's an ad that appears on your Kindle, why well, you just leave it there, like that? It's it's just an ad when you turn it off. It does that. So, press right down here. Turn it on. And, and there's that. I'll be seeing you on on Thursday night. Maybe not, because you, you can't really... You're supposed to know they may not deliver at the right <laughs> date. But, but uh, my new Kindle case should be here on Thursday this week. So, yep. Yeah. I'll see y'all on All Things Kindle.